Remember the law of the laborers, Ryan? We don't get to have lives. Not normal ones, anyway. They'd be wasted on us. We wouldn't know what to do with them. Or we'd be too afraid we'll ruin them. Which is why you gave back your life. Why you want Jonathan to give up his, too. But if Jonathan goes, my life goes with him, and I'll have nothing. Come here. Please. Take a good look. See what I see. A bright, young, beautiful woman with her entire life ahead of her. I want you to go out and live it out there. I want you to chase your own dreams. I want you to wake up in the morning and say, what do I want to do today? And then go out and do it. Your life. You deserve it. You can have it. I want you to have it. I... I don't know how. You'll figure it out. When you're out there, on your own. When you're free. You don't have to end up like Jonathan. It's scary as hell, I know. When all you feel is pain, Happiness can be a very scary place. This is half a life, Aaron. I'm just saying you deserve more. I cannot be happy knowing Jonathan's locked away. All right, once they put him in that hospital, you and I both know they'll never let him out, Ryan. Ryan, I've, uh, I've been thinking about it, and you're right. It's the best shot I've got. I'll do it. I'll do it, Ryan. I'll let you take me to the hospital. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna come and help you pack. Sit tight, Ryan. Okay, Ryan. I'm ready for the next big step. Jonathan has a real chance at this clinic, okay? It's not a life sentence. Are you lying to me or yourself, Ryan? They come up with new treatments all the time. That could mean a real future for Hockett. Hey, this decision opens doors for you, too. You hurt him. He wants to go. He wants to get better. this head on. It's the only way to be. I can't tell you how much this means to me that the two of you are going with me. Like a real family. You ready? I'll never see this place again. I never had one of those when I was a kid. You did. You did. You had a time. <laughs> you remember, Aaron? You had the, the paint set and the brushes and the watercolors. I just earned my first box of crayons. Dad could see me now, huh? <laughs> well, make sure that you have everything that you want, Hockett, and, and that you need. This is great, isn't it? All three of us together again, finally. I'm so happy. I don't know if I can do this. I'm, I'm sorry, Jonathan, that it has to be this way. But if you stay here, you won't get what you need. The best doctors, medicine, treatment. I mean, this way you've got a real shot, and we're going to be with you every step. Are you going to take that side? Are you going to make me go? Hey. Hey, Hawk, Hawk and Dad's dead. He's gone. No more fear. You're safe now. And why can't we stay? I don't just... If Dad's dead, then I'm free. And that means I don't have to... 
I don't understand why we can't stay, why we all can't stay together. Why can't we just stay here? We, 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 we could live off the land. I've read about people that do that. We could grow our own food, and, and we don't have to see anyone. We don't have to go anywhere, and we could just depend on each other, and we could support one another like a real family. It's just not possible, hon. Why? Why is it not possible? Why do I have to go? Why do I have to be left alone again? As, as much as we'd like you to stay here, it's just not possible. We can't watch you every single second. I mean, you got away last night. I came back. You've hurt people. I've done bad things, but you've done bad things, right? You both have done bad things. I mean, you, you, you left me. You lied to me. You shot me. Yes, I have done bad things to you and to other people I love, Jonathan, but look at me. You have killed people. We can't let that happen again. Because you love me so much. Yes, and because I want you better. You see, Ryan says that he loves me, but he doesn't. He doesn't love any of us, especially me, because he doesn't like the way I am. I'm messy. I'm very messy. And he doesn't like that. See, every time that you write in to save me, Ryan, you just end up dumping me off somewhere else or shooting me. I didn't want to hurt you, John. It never ends. It never ends. But I can make it end. I can make it end now, today. Well, Jonathan, you're, you're not alone. I mean, we can end it together. See, I didn't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to kill people. Brayden, just, Brayden wouldn't get out of the way. And, and that, that Edmund Gray, I, I had no choice. I had no choice. And that, that, that bodyguard that was watching out for Greenlee and Lily, I just, I don't like feeling trapped, okay? Why can't they understand that? Why can't you understand? I do, I do, I do, I'm sorry. Uh, I thought I was doing the right thing by keeping you safe in this room. But, but you must have felt like you were in a cage. Is, is that why you went out last night, Jonathan? I had to get some air, okay? I just needed to, I needed, I needed to get outside. I needed to see some sky. I needed to breathe something besides dust and... All night? What were you doing? Jonathan, where'd you go? We were gone for hours. I lost track of time. There's this really cool building site that down the road that it, you know, and it, it had everything I needed. You planning on building something? Where's Greenlee, Ryan? Is she telling you what to do again? I, Greenlee never liked me. <laughs> she pretended to, but then I just got in the way again. So she asked me to leave. This isn't about Greenlee, Jonathan. You're right, Ryan, it's not. I mean, who needs Greenlee when you've got her, right? I mean, are you two in this together? There's no plot. <laughs> Jonathan. Jonathan, you agreed to go. Yeah, at least it's just the Lavery's this time, Ryan. No Greenlee, always running her mouth. She never shuts. Kindle, amped out, running around with that freaky little blonde girl. I just, you know what? This is nice. This is nice. This is the this is the way it should be. Jonathan, I, I don't understand. Why don't, not? Don't touch. Why not? I just don't want you looking all sloppy on your, uh, on your big day. I'm gonna fix your jacket. So I'm straighten you up a little bit. Look, it's all. You're a mess. Come here. Come here.